Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to identify users who are torrenting on the network. So in a previous video that's tutorial 14, I showed you how to set up queues um, using Q3 and we had created a number of queues and two in particular I was saying that the other queue and the peer-to-peer -peer queue uh, BitTorrent traffic flows over these two queues and what we did was we had limited these two uh, queues down to one megabyte each but depending on your available net um, bandwidth you can reduce those accordingly so I'm going to just start up start downloading a torrent file just to show you uh, the queue in action so if this was your, the case um, on your network you will see where the queues start lighting up this showing that the queue has reached its its maximum so so currently you can see that uh, there's BitTorrent traffic flowing flowing through the network right now. So what you're going to do is to I'm going to show you how to identify which user is currently torrenting on the network. So I'm going to stop this and next you need to go to IP firewall and what you're going to do is to create an an address list. This address list would be uh, the address for all the users on your network or even a, a subset of a network depend, depending on how your, you have configured the users. So we're going to call this uh, say customers. So, so you could call this clients. You're going to call this clients and say the client's address is 192.168.5. Say, for instance, uh, 10 to 192.168.5.254. So, say, for instance, that is your range. Apply. So you have just created an address list, but now I'm going to show you how to identify the user. So the user that you will be identifying will be out of this address range. So just make sure that you have entered a range that covers your, your network. So in filter rules, I'm going to add a rule and the chain set the chain to forward and for peer-to-peer -peer, or P2P we're going to set that to all P2P then advance and then the source address list there is a source address list we're going to choose clients as a source address action and then we're going to select add source to address list and then we're going to call this uh, bit torrent users and we're going to uh, add a comment so we can identify this rule easily all right so you're seeing a bit of traffic flowing here and go to address list so you're not seeing anything right now so let me just reset everything. So I'm going to reset this this counter. All right. So say for instance, a user comes onto the network and they started to torrent. So now we are seeing where traffic is flowing through this firewall rule, this filter rule. And now if we go to address list, we can now identify the BitTorrent user who is the user who is torrenting and we can we found out that it's 
85.25.253 that is the user who is torrenting. So now you can go to your DHCP server and look for that user and realize that this is a user who is currently torrenting. So depend, depending on your policy, you might decide to block the user or warn the user, whatever it may be. But that's the way in which you go about identifying BitTorrent uh, users who are BitTorrenting on the network. So thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if, you're, if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. Alright, so thanks for watching.